Hello class, good morning. Today, we will continue with our discussion about Microsoft Forms. And today, we will focus on the creation of Microsoft Forms quiz type. So first step is we will log into our Microsoft Office 365 account. So we will go to office.com. Okay, once you are inside your office.com account, you will go to this site and look for the forms. Go ahead and click that. And after that, you will see your forms. And then, you will see here, add new quiz. Okay, go ahead and click on that. Okay, now that we are here in the, the form quiz type, we will now edit this. So this is our activity number five. Activity number five quiz. Okay, you have to write it yung correct ano natin, ah, format. So this is activity number five quiz. Before we we learned or we did yung form. Ngayon naman yung quiz type. Okay, activity number five quiz. Then our format, which is batch so 7 a underscore your class number then your surname all caps okay example tuason tuason anna okay then Okay, then first natin, we will add a new question. So, first is the choice. Choice is a multiple choice question. And it will um, ask your participants to answer and choose the correct answer from the choices that you have provided. So, first example is, so you will think of your own question, okay? Whatever subject or topic you want. So it can be science, math, religion, English, or any topic that might interest you. For me, I'm gonna do this. Which of the following is used to check the temperature? Okay, question mark. Then, yan, I will, I will put my option. So, thermometer. Volt meter. Okay. Barometer. Barometer. Usually, kapag sa first part, nagaganyan talaga siya yung up and down motion niya. But it will... Ano, solve it so itself kapag sa, ano na, sa mga succeeding questions. Speedometer. So, yan. So, I have already um, typed my choices. And next is, your, you will now choose the correct answer. So, for example, my correct answer is thermometer. I will click on this check mark so that the computer will know that the correct answer for this question is thermometer. Now, if you want to rearrange your options, you can also do that by clicking on this left side, the six buttons, and then drag, just drag them to where you want them to be. So you can um, shuffle them. You can also delete if you think you have a better option. And you can also add a, uh, like, display a message to respondents who select this answer. Do you want to... Parang trial lang ba? Pwede mo sabihin, oops, sure, this is not correct. Pwede ganun. But if it's a quiz, you don't give them hints, of course. Ayan. Then, we will click on this, required. Okay, since my question, I only need them to answer one, one answer, I will not tick this. But if your question requires that they give you multiple answers or two, more than two answers, you will have to click on this okay then you will put the point for me this question is two points okay so you can also put one or it depends on you you are the creator of the quiz 
Then, for this activity, you are going to add two choice questions. So, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and add another, quest, another choice option. So, another choice option is English naman. I was ill, so I stayed blank two days at home. Okay, so these are my options. Mm -hmm. to at on so the correct answer here is so I was ill so I stayed four so this I will tick on that so it's different here no so yeah you can also reshuffle if you want then two points again but if i want to change it into one point only it's okay or i want to change it into three points it's okay so for this i want this to be one point okay then add new choice again you will add two true or false question okay so choice choice okay Acids tastes sour. So again, okay, option one true, option two false. So yeah, then you will choose the correct answer again. So acids taste sour, true, correct. Then it should be required. Let's go and I will put this two points. Okay, remember that you are the teacher and you have the you know what point to add or to put in your question okay you can add you can choose the, the, the points that you want another true or false question choice paren click choice this time math naman so eight times eight equals 60. okay is it true or false okay so, this is false. I am. Okay? And it is a required question. And I will give them two points. Three points because they will compute pa. Yeah. Okay, next is to add a new one, text. Again, a text is for the essay part. If you want to ask your participants and answer an essay, this is the type of format that you will choose, the text choice. So here, I'm going to type my essay question, which is, example, I want my students to write a news story about their day, about your day so far. For example, this is an English um class so write a new story about your day so far then i will i want them to have a long answer or they can answer long answers so i will tick on this then this is also a required question and this is because this is an essay i will give them 10 points if they will answer this correctly or they will be able to um give justice to their answers okay that's an essay. Then, last is the, we will add again. Now, we will do the rating. For this rating, we just want to ask our participants how well they like or least like a particular object or a scenario or an application. So, for this example, I will ask my participants how likely are you to use Microsoft Forms for quizzes. Then I will. I can. You can also set the the levels from two to ten. So for this, I want it to be ten levels, and I want the number. And then you will have to click this more setting and put a label so that. They will know which is the least and which is the uh, the most. Okay, least likely. Then most 
likely. So it means that when your participants choose 1, it is least likely. And when they choose 10, most likely. And, and if they choose in between, it beats that they're in the middle of it. Okay, so you need to put the label so that they will know is which one is the highest and the lowest, diba? So, yeah, for this, this is just a, like, um, a survey for me and I don't need to point, put a score on them. So, zero lang. Yes. Ayan. So, now that we are done, we can now format our form so that it will be more beautiful. So, since this is like um, a quiz B, I can also change my picture here or the image for my title like a quiz B. Okay, let me see. We can... Um, yeah, maybe this one is good. Test yourself. Add. Sana it will be compatible. Okay, yan. This is also a required required requirement, the picture. Then, for the rest of the questions, you may add or not. Okay, next is to add a theme. You will go here to the side. As you can see, uh, Microsoft have already given me theme ideas which I can just choose based on what I, I did, diba? So, they noticed that I am doing a quiz. So, they gave me uh, like a pen, this one, a girl taking a test, a, a, a classroom. A, yes, so, pang classroom na mga setup. So, galing ni, ni Themes, no? Or ni Microsoft. So, yan. So, I can just... Choose from the options that Microsoft have given me, and I want this chair. Yeah, and so it like take effect na siya. and I want to change my the color. Remember that the hexagon number. So you just have to go to open a new browser, hexagon hex hashtag for Microsoft Forms. Yeah, and you can see that. Then choose. So, yeah. We will choose the swash that we want. So, I think well, this would be a good one, Coral. I will just copy the hashtag. Okay. Yeah. Control C. Then, Control V. Ayan. So, meron siyang for better readability, choose a darker color. But this is okay na for me. Okay. Ayan. Back. Then, you can do preview so that you will know what it will look like to your friends. Or to the people that you will give your quiz with. So, for example, so yeah, If they are on mobile... They will be able to see this. Okay. But if they are on their computers, they can also do this. You can try answering your own. So for me, para you will know if it is working. Which of the following is used to check temperature, thermometer. I was ill, stayed um, four. Yes, true. Then, false. Then, uh, kunyari, malit lang yung answers ko. It, it's great. So far. So, then, submit. Okay, so, yan. So, this, the, your participants will see this result. Okay? Then, back as the owner of the as the owner of the quiz you can also check the responses ayan diba? you can see how many answered this okay you will see that yeah then you can delete and um, share the file next is again for you to submit, you need to, okay, 
do go back okay you need to share this copy the link with me and put it in our in our course okay that's all for today bye have a great day